Good morning. I got coffees. How you doing? Dude, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> this app is so much fun. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We have a crazy video coming to you today from Kelowna, British Columbia. So there's a guy up here by the name of Ryan. Ryan owns a vineyard. He's also a car collector. He has a slew of very special Lamborghinis and we're gonna go to his house today, very exclusive like look at his collection and he drives like an absolute madman. He fits right into DDE. Now, we have a sponsor for today's video and you guys are gonna love it. It's this app, it's Poker Stars Play and it's Texas Hold'em. We were in Vegas just recently with Houston and Houston challenged me to learn how to play poker so the next time I go to Vegas, him and I can go head to head in a poker tournament of some sort. So we took this very seriously. I had Dave, my boy right here, reach out to a bunch of people to get an app where you can learn how to play poker. And it turns out we found this company, Poker Stars Play, and they sponsored today's video because they thought it would be a fun thing to get involved with our shenanigans. So here's what's going down. It's a free app. All the money's free. Download links in the description. And I am challenging you before I challenge Houston to try to beat me. So Dave and I are currently playing and we are at, what is it? Level 11. We're at level 11 Russian. already. We're already killing it, you guys. <laughs> so Dave's in here, he's playing. And I mean, do you think they can beat us? No. So here, my challenge to you is, is go to the link in the description, download Poker Stars Play app, Texas Hold'em, and then try to beat level 11. If you do, comment below what level you got to. Now, whoever can beat us by the most, I'm gonna throw a little giveaway, a little DD merch, a little giveaway to you guys. Sweeten the pot. That's what it's called in poker, right? A pot? I think so, yeah. Woo, woo! I need some coffee. We're gonna hit the road. If you wonder why we're wearing sunglasses right now. Why are you wearing sunglasses? It's dark my, in here. Yeah, my eyes are my tell. And this is my <laughs> poker face. <laughs> Dude, it's online, no one can see you. I never thought about that. The spin and go. So exit to the lobby. Yeah. Fold my current hand. This is really fun, ready? Okay. You get to spin it like yeah. it's. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sick. We're gonna hit the road and we're gonna go check out Ryan's exotic car collection, have a little fun. Thanks for playing along, you guys. I think it's an awesome app. Actually, the, the, the gameplay is insane on this app. Yeah. So it's, I'm kind of getting addicted to it. I am super addicted. It's tons of fun. It's true. He actually lost, here's the real truth. <laughs> he lost, don't tell them. He lost all our money twice. <laughs> I had like $400,000. I was like, all in, all in, blind, all in. <laughs> okay, guys, let's hit the road. Where the hell did Dave go? Oh, here we go. Ready to go? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. I was wondering where you went. Let's just take a little cruise. It's beautiful around here. <sighs> to the Porsche, sir. To the Porsche. By the way, we've got the, Hit the Apex. August Motor uh, Cars Porsche Cayenne GTS. Nice. It's a nice vehicle. It's nice of them to lend it to us. <laughs> yeah. To shenanigan hooligan guys. This thing sounds good. It sounds really good. It's got a little like, a little burble to it. I left out the Predator Ridge I US. want to do a rally where you're my co-pilot. I'll uh, yell at you the whole time. Oh my God, that's never happening. No, no, we're gonna do it. We're, that's never yeah, happening. Yeah, bucket list. Guys, comment below if you think that I should honestly be a co-pilot to Dave. No. This is Ryan's place. Never met Ryan before. Just hooked up through uh, Instagram. Couple of crazy car guys with the same passion. Hey. Oh, look at that. I think he's teasing Dave. Maybe he watches the channel because he, he's stuck in R8. There's nothing else out here but an R8. Maybe it's for sale. All right, let's go see. Hello. What's going on, guys? What up? How's it going? Hey, Damon Fryer. Ryan, nice hey. to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Lindsay. Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. Hi, how Hi. are you doing? Dave. Hey. 
<laughs> why, yeah. why you gotta always be? Yeah. Hold on. Why, why you always gotta be so weird? It's my like, signature, you know. I know it kind of is. Yeah, it's being awkward on camera. Car collection. Yeah, I got one. I heard. <laughs> Do you like Lamborghinis? All right, guys. Holy! This is it. Welcome to Lamborghini Kelowna. Dude. That's nuts. Wow. Well, apparently owning one Huracan just got really boring. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got two SVs. Yeah, I got a couple SVs. The Ventour SV right here. Yeah. Uh, it's a Roadster. And then also a Murcielago SV. Diablo Roadster in the back. LM002. And then in the middle, you can't just have one Countach. You've got to have two. That looks like the one out of Wolf of Wall Street. It's like white on white. Yep, exactly. That's exact same color combo. Super rare. Yep, she sure is. Okay, well, why don't you just give us a couple of points on like each car? Well, Aventador is the daily driver. Uh, it's a Hold 20... on, that's the daily driver? Yeah, that's the daily driver, you know? Oh, I think we just. You guys are daily driven exotics, aren't we you? We just became like, best on. friends, man. <laughs> Who daily drives an SV Roadster though, for real? I do. That's awesome. So, it's a 17 and it's got 20, almost 29,000 kilometers on it. My it man. It gets a lot of miles. My man. Yeah. Can we have a look at the interior? Yeah, of course. The interior is looking like it's orange as well. Yeah, it's a custom spec car by me. So this is this color actually is one off color. Uh, I worked with Lamborghini, the factory, and uh, we invented this color. So, so what it's a one off, it? but I don't want to say it because I don't want anyone to copy my color. I like so. it, I like it. Keep the secret. Yeah. So, and then you've got it all done on the interior with all the orange and everything as well. Yeah. Breaker, breaker, cannonball <laughs> run. <laughs> That's amazing. What about the Mercy SV? So yeah, this is the Mercy SV, obviously super rare. They made 100, well, only 186 got made. So many of them have been crashed. So it's actually, uh, they're pretty, they're getting pretty rare. They're very collectible. And yeah, I've had it for about a year now and just, just did my little touches on it. <laughs> Two SVs, now you got a Diablo Roadster. Yeah, the very first Lambo I ever got a ride in was a Diablo Roadster. So I had to have- Had to buy one of those? Yeah, I had to have one, yeah. And now tell us about the Countaches. You got two of them. One of them's famous. So we got the Wolf of Wall Street Countach over here. So cool. This one's only got 4,500 kilometers on it. So I feel really bad driving it, but I love driving my cars. We got so, a lot, like at some level, it's okay to have a, a, the one car yeah, you just it's, like. It's the collector car. So I had to buy a second Countach that I could drive. So this one, uh, engine's been rebuilt, tranny's been rebuilt. It, uh, I've added power steering to it, so it's actually super easy to drive. And it used to be wrapped blue. So this is the famous Countach that did all those donuts in the driveway. The, so. You guys, that's actually how I found him, was I saw this video of someone who is a madman doing donuts in a blue Countach in his driveway. I was like, who is this guy? And then I found out you lived here yeah. in British Columbia, my home province here in Canada. And I was like, that's all of a 45 minute flight away. I have to meet this guy at some point. It, the car is pretty easy to drive if you've driven a lot of Lamborghinis. But when you start doing donuts in it, it's the noise that it's making it, and you just spinning and spinning and spinning. Like I'll even take all of them out in the snow just to see what they're like in the snow. So I'll go drive <laughs> up the road. And, uh, in the snow. Yeah, yeah I've right. done wine deliveries in the SV. Uh, so I put a Thule, Thule box on the roof and then driven to Penticton and actually uh, delivered wine to the VQA store down there. You know, this is the original poster car, right? So, kind of cool right here. This yeah. is the button you push to open the door. Not many people know about this. If you want to lock the car, you actually put the key in here and you turn it and that's how you lock the doors. Well, this seems really convenient. What were they thinking, right? <laughs> I don't think anything in old school Lamborghini was Convenience. No, not at That's all. That's only well, become really recent. Yeah, and this right here, this is as far as the window rolls down. And the only reason why the window rolls down is because in Italy, you gotta pay for the toll road. So you'd have to be able to get money out and to throw into the little toll. So they had to have windows that went down, but that's as far as it goes. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. All right. So pop that up. 
And here we go, here's the inside. Jeez. This car's got about 19,000 kilometers on it. Um, it's in pretty darn good shape, but yeah, that's the interior of it. Wow. Super, super classic and simple. Yeah, dog look, leg shift, Look at these, shifter. look at these absolutely massive red, are these buttons? This is for, or are they lights? No, that's just your idiot warning lights. So like this car has got a, <laughs> this car has got Quicksilver exhaust on it. So the catalyst light is always on. So, but if you got a brake fault, then you you'll have a red light on. on it? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Mods is good dodge. Yeah, it's got headers and exhaust. <laughs> That's so sick. Unbelievable. And you got the gearbox right there. So what, my friend, is the story on this thing? I mean, this color is, what, what's, what's the color? Uh, okay, so the color is Verde. Lamborghini only made two Lambo trucks in Verde. So I've got mine, and then the other one is in Italy. And the cool thing about this one is, it was actually uh, delivered to Japan. So if you look, have a look at this, this is really cool. Check out uh, right there on the visor. Oh, no way. Yeah, so super rad. All Japanese. So yeah. Are you fluent in Japanese? No, I have no idea what it says. <laughs> I think it says like, fold this down and it'll block sun from eyes. I think that's what it says. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like a Dave explanation right there. <laughs> I love that. Well, I love that. Yeah, but yeah, so Lambo truck, they made about 300 of them for the world. Uh, originally, they. That's it? Yeah, 300. For the whole world. For the whole world. Yeah, uh, cool thing about the tires, they're 345s on the rear and on the front. Have yeah. you ever seen a 345 on a front? They're huge. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So, and what's it, the plan now? Well, uh, the plan now is we're going to take new cars out and then we're gonna take old cars out. Go for a little drive. Going for a drive, guys. Getting the tour proper Okanagan Valley style. This is super exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear these things start up because I would assume if he's been putting exhaust on stuff, these cars are loud. Next up. Are you ready for the Mercy? I'm ready. So this one's got exhaust too. Damn, let's hear it. <laughs> Check this out. Damn. Dude. That's DD right there. It is DD. Look at all the bugs, you guys. He <laughs> straight up here. has bugs everywhere. Oh yeah, that's DD right there. Got some scuffs. That's amazing. And look at this. He hit, he bit it pretty hard. That front emblem. That reminds me of my car. It's got bug guts too. I love a guy. Come on. You guys love a guy who drives his car? So we're gonna get a little tour. I don't know where we're going, but I know it's gonna sound amazing yep. and it's gonna look just as good. Dude, you're a madman, look at this. This oh, straight up four by the cars off road. Yeah, we just go straight into my vineyard. This is amazing, I can't wait to see this. What an amazing experience, ripping around with these guys. Look where we're at, I just like straight up drove this thing off road. 
we hit something on the way and he's like, ah, might have been something. These cars are sick. Amazing. This is his vineyard. This is all attached to his, his property. Oh, really? Yeah. So all of this down to some road at the bottom of the hill and then all over this way. Right, so what'd you think? Let's go more. Yeah? yeah? You're doing really good. You're just like on it. Thank you. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about, about driving the Aventador just from your brief like a little rip today with us? Probably how fast it accelerates and the cornering. The cornering, the right? Cornering. This right here, this yep. is the top of my vineyard. Uh, we've got Riesling and Gewürztraminer planted here, uh, about 18 acres. Come on, you guys. This is the place to be in summer here in British Columbia. It's not bad, that's for sure. And it's hot today. Like, I'm sweating. And this I'm is not sweating. even hot yet. No. Really? Yeah, you're an island boy. It this gets is a not lot hot. hotter? Oh, it gets way hotter than this. What are you gonna show us now? All right, so we did the new cars. Now we're going to the old cars. So some vintage stuff. So gonna pull out the 88 and a half Quattro Bell and then the Diablo Roadster. Outfit change. She's a true model, guys. <laughs> outfit change in the middle of the day. We're all still wearing the same stuff. And you got boots on. And these are my driving shoes. These are your driving <laughs> shoes? Yeah. You should see Dave's driving shoes. He has boots like that. Yeah, Except they're, for they're, they they're knee highs. They go higher. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Yeah! <laughs> she got it. I would have stalled it. I would have stalled it for sure. Wow, this thing sounds really good. Man, the Diablos are just so classic. special treat to be able to go in the same day in all of the generations of the V12 from Lamborghini. It started with this block, this V12 block, and you know, it's all the way up to 2017 to the new Aventador. It's crazy. It is crazy. 450 horsepower up to 750. This car is, um, well, sir, this car is very, very gnarly. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Look at how your feet go in, like, it's like right there. That's where you live.
Brown I'm uh, Trent Kitch, one tenth of Kitch wines. I'm Ria Kitch, a part, I don't measure. Nine. Immeasurable. Nine, ten. Uh, part of Kitch wines. Uh, we have a winemaker, we've got a good crew family um, based in Kelowna. And I love these guys, they're the best. <laughs> Their ride is a little simpler than your crazy whips. They it's like electric. Like. They yeah. like electric and they like uh, zero emissions. Zero emissions. No, but we love supercars too. <laughs> <laughs> like I like how we followed it very quickly up with that. The two Lambos and then the mansion. It's like it's like a rap video. It's like it's like a rap video. Do a rap song. Well, today just got a little crazier. It's actually the mayor of Kelowna where we're at. What's up? I'm, I'm just blown away. What took you guys so long, by the way, to figure out Kelowna and you know figure out that this is the place to be? I knew it was a place to be. I was just waiting for someone crazy enough like Ryan yeah. to drive his cars the way he does, so I had an excuse to come up here. How insane does that Diablo sound? Oh, I mean, amazing. both of them. Yeah, I love them. I want one. Mad props to Ryan. Mad props. DD to the core. We got he, he literally is DD. Like it is talking with him. Like, oh, yeah, every day I drive Lamborghini, different car every day. And Look at that view, you guys. Jeez. So yeah, this is Kitch uh, Vineyards, and I actually helped plant this vineyard back in the day. So it's pretty cool to be back here and actually see a mansion here. Before it was just a nice little plot of land, no vines. You know, we put in the grapes, we put in the irrigation, we dug the holes. Now I get to drink the wine that we. I help plant, so which is pretty cool. My name is Grant Biggs. I am the winemaker, uh, viticulturist, and uh, taste room extraordinaire at <laughs> Kitch Wines in East Kelowna, BC. We, this was all on a like. Just a we Sunday were, whim. We were yeah. just going for a little cruise in the older Lambos. And he was just like, all of a sudden looked at me and was like, wanna go to a mansion and do some wine tasting? I was like, can I say yes? Next thing you know, we're meeting the mayor and you know, <laughs> I was like, Dee Dee's a big deal. Big deal. Cheers, hey, guys. a toast everyone, cheers. Yeah, Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day, you guys. This stuff's truly amazing. Now I'm no, wine sommelier, but I know what I like, and I like this. Put your pinky up. <laughs> there you go. Hey, thanks for your time, my friend. David, it was a pleasure, man. Port Alberni, Port Alberni represent. Going back. We, we, should, we should be shotgunning cans of Lucky and burning tires, but we're not. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get his number, we're gonna do that after. Try it, try it, try it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't, wasn't awkward at all, wasn't awkward at all. And this is what we call up here in Canada. Dave, would you just twist this off for me? This is what's called an open carry in Canada. It's not the gun, it's the wine. <laughs> oh wow, I mean that, that is so ridiculously good. That's amazing. Hi dear. Doesn't care at all. That is super wild. Oh yeah! That's how you know he daily drives the car and this isn't a once in a while thing, right? Yeah. That's well deserved, my friend. Thank Holy. You, that it's, was impressive though in the Kutosh. Yeah, the first time I did it with Lindsay, Lindsay was here, she was like, she just got wet. She's like, oh my God, that was so hot. Is that on camera? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Look at this guy go. What? If that doesn't impress you, I don't know what will. Thank you so much to the both of you. Hey, it's a pleasure hey. to meet you, man. I mean, come on, knocked it out the park. That was a pretty fun day. It was nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Uh, so much. Great fun. driving skills. Thank you. Didn't stall the Diablo. Not even once. Absolute beast in the Aventador SV Roadster. <laughs> pound it, pound it. Explosion. Whoa. Whoa. I'm ready. 
Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Cam, welcome back. Nice to have you back. Welcome back to Predator Ridge. It's all about wines, golf courses, luxury living, supercars. You guys got to come out here. I'm telling you, links in the description. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Guys, how good does this look? Let's dive in. I think dinner's coming soon, so, oh. Ah. Speak of the devil. Baby I am glad I ordered that. Wow. And the fish and chips. Nice. Amazing. Thank you for everything. Very much. Amazing. You've been amazing all evening. Look at this. That's a slice of heaven. It is. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for sort of supporting Daily Driven Exotics. Really appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're done. Predator Ridge. We're out of here in the morning. Thank you so much oh, to awesome. my boy, Cam. Awesome. If you guys time. need anything, there's gonna be links in the description. You guys get a little discount. Come up here, enjoy your time. You come up with the boys, you come up with your lady. There's amazing things to do. What's he doing? Are you gambling he again? He has okay. an addiction. He's gambling all the time. I have a high card, you guys. I got $10,000 in the bank. All in. All in. Okay, let's see if he wins. Cam, watch this. Watch this. Oh, I won! Okay, guys, <laughs> go into the links, download Poker Stars Play. Texas Hold'em, right now. Are you doing it again? I can't stop. I'm, oh, all, I'm in. all in. Hit the subscribe button, throw us a thumbs up. Good night, guys. Thanks so, for watching. Level 12. You guys gotta try to beat level 12. Peace, next video.